Hello everybody! Hello and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube Creative Studio. This is the second part how to crochet this amazing colorful granny reglan cardigan coat. I'm so satisfied with this cardigan. I absolutely love the colors and the size. So it's a woman um, or medium woman size and it's made as a oversized and in this second part I will show you how to make the sleeves and how to finish uh, the cardigan coat with a nice um, uh, ribbing endings. So in the first part we created uh, the yoke and uh, I uh, explain how to continue working on the body of uh, your cardigan coat. And now I will show you how to make the sleeves. There is an armhole. So let's start with a new yarn and uh, start working in the corner V stitch. So make a slip knot, insert the hook in uh, the first V stitch. Uh, work on the right side of your cardigan, okay? So insert the hook into the V stitch, make a slip knot and pull the loop through this V stitch corner. Then insert the hook in the next V stitch corner and make a slip stitch. So we nicely and easily join the um, v uh, stitches with a slip stitch. Perfect. <laughs> slip stitch and then make a slip stitch in next stitch. And then you will easily continue with your granny uh, with your granny uh, stitch. So slip stitch in next stitch. And then chain three, which is uh, the first double crochet. One, two, three, and two double crochets in chain one space, which is right after the V stitch corner. Okay, so one and two. So at the beginning we have three double crochets groups. Group uh, then chain one and work three double crochet in next chain one space and chain one. Easy peasy, uh, you will work a granny a stitch all along this row till you reach the last chain one space. This is the space which is right in front of the V corner stitch. So this is the last chain one space where I will work three double crochets group. Then chain one, insert the hook in the third stitch from the beginning and make a slip stitch. Then chain three and very important, turn your work and place two double crochets in this first chain one space. Then chain one and continue crocheting granny stitch till you reach the end of the row. So we will work in closed rounds and uh, I will close the round with a slip stitch which is placed in the third chain from the beginning and what's very important turn your work when you finish each row. So the pattern will be the same on the sleeves, the same as you have on the coat. Because on the coat I'm working row by row and uh, the sleeve I will also, I will turn the work when I finish the row. So guys, <laughs> let's keep continue crocheting, working on your sleeves till you are satisfied with the length of the sleeves. Uh, the width is uh, 21 centimeters, 7.8 uh, uh, inches. Okay. And uh, 
same sleeve uh, you will create on the opposite side as well and there is uh, no increase uh, no decrease on the sleeve so the sleeve uh, is uh, uh, like a rectangle okay <laughs> so I made uh, 30 34 rows of course you can make uh, your sleeve longer or shorter it's up to you and uh, you can uh, make a, a decrease evenly if you want to have your sleeve narrower and uh, yeah I'm satisfied uh, with this uh, rectangle shape and uh, I um, made no decrease uh, on my sleeve so let me measure the length the sleeve has uh, 45 centimeters 17.5 inches uh, this is the length uh, from the seam on the side the width is uh, 20 21 centimeters uh, 7.8 inches and uh, yeah I will measure the length uh, from the beginning of the yoke and it has 62 centimeters 24 inches so this is it my crochet friends you already know how to make the sleeve still there is uh, some time to make your cardigan longer if you want uh, and uh, once you are satisfied with the length uh, i will show you how to make the ribbing uh, endings so uh, i will measure the cardigan coat uh, body Okay, so I will measure the coat uh, from the seam. So the length of the body is uh, 72 centimeters, 28 uh, inches, and uh, it's uh, the measurement from the seam on the side till the end of the cardigan and I will also measure the width of the back panel and it is uh, 20, 53 centimeters 20.7 inches okay so guys so uh, we are done with our cardigan coat and uh, I'm satisfied with the length with the width and uh, now I will show you how to make the nice uh, ribbing endings I will use uh, the new yarn um, I decided to use the black color yarn and um, it's um, a bit uh, different yarn it's a uh, it's a um, papatia angora merino and uh, it's made with the premium merino wool i will use a uh, 4.5 millimeters crochet hook i really love this yarn it's absolutely perfect for spring and fall projects for sweaters cardigan scarf and so on and I will start in the corner where I finish my crocheting and at first we will make the row with single crochet stitches along uh, the whole cardigan so let's make a slip knot pull it through the uh, first chain chain one and then work single crochet in each and every stitch so work single crochet in each double crochet stitch and also in each chain one space 
So easily speaking, make one row of single crochet stitches along uh, the whole cardigan, along uh, the front panels, uh, the V neckline, along the back panel, and also along uh, the the bottom side, the bottom uh, row. I'm working with only one strand of this uh, Angora Merino yarn, but uh, the ribbing endings I will work with two strands together. I try to use only one strand, but uh, the endings uh, it didn't look so so pretty. So I will use two strands and now chain eight chains. Okay, so make a foundation chain, eight chains. Perfect. This is the length of your um, ending. Then chain one and let's work uh, the single crochet in the second chain from your crochet hook and then one single crochet in each and every chain till you reach the beginning where we started crocheting the chain. So in the first row you will have 10 single crochet stitches. I know that the working with the black yarn it's um, not very good uh, for uh, video tutorials but I really love this color for the ribbing edging so I'm sorry about it. I will explain everything step by step and uh, I think uh, it's uh, perfectly clear and you are so smart so you will understand. So now I have uh, 10 single crochet stitches. Then you work and work a slip stitch in next single crochet in the row around, along the cardigan and one more slip stitch in next single crochet. So there are two slip stitches. Then you work and let's work a single crochet in each single crochet from the previous row. I have 10 single crochet stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So be careful. Skip two slip stitches and let's work single crochet in the first single crochet but in back loop only. Okay, so there is a V stitch. Uh, the front and back loop and I will work in back loop only. This is it. And again a single crochet and next single crochet back loop only. So you can clearly see now front and back loop and I will work only in this back loop. And continue crocheting one single crochet in each single crochet. Still work in back loops till you are a reach. You reach the beginning of the row. And you will have 10 single crochet stitches. In the row, this is the last single crochet. Now chain one, then your work, and let's work a single crochet in each single crochet again, back loop only. I don't count chain one at the beginning as a stitch, it's only a turning chain. So one single crochet in the first stitch and the second, third, fourth, 
fourth, fifth, six, seventh, eighth, ninth, and the last one. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one more. Work in back loop only. This is it. And again make a slip stitch in next two single crochets. So one slip stitch and second slip stitch. Okay, so we nicely joined the ribbing border with uh, the cardigan coat. So let's keep continue crocheting. Now skip two slip stitches and work single crochet in each and every single crochet, work in back loop only and in each and every row you will have uh, 10 single crochet stitches. Once you reach the end, chain one and turn your work. And this is it, my crochet friends. You can keep continue crocheting uh, the nice ribbing ending along the row from the corner, corner till the next corner and uh, also make this uh, nice ribbing ending along the front panels along the V neckline along the back panel and then go down and this is it I just finished the beautiful ribbing ending along each cut along each side of my cardigan coat I love it it's perfect I think it's perfect uh, nice final um, step of uh, my crocheting cardigan coat and I think it looks absolutely perfect I love this uh, result so guys what do you think about it I think with this uh, black uh, uh, black border it's uh, perfect so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten single crochets and we are done i'm at the end of my crocheting this is the rest of uh, ball angora merino so i used up uh, about uh, three quarters on, of the ball and this is it so we can cut uh, the yarn and hide the end it's super easy it's uh, almost uh, seamless um, there is no uh, no seaming at all uh, very easy very easy pattern for for beginners and I think everyone can make this cardigan which will uh, fit you can make it uh, longer you can make it uh, shorter wider narrower i love this oversized style for my cardigan and the uh, length of the ribbing border is uh, 6.5 centimeters 2.5 inches and it's absolutely the same also on the side and on the uh, bottom of the cardigan as well so this is it so I will measure the front panel now the width is uh, 25 centimeters 9.8 uh, inches um, and the same length on the opposite side the total width is uh, 50 centimeters 19.5 inches and the length of the cardigan now is uh, 
84 centimeters, 32.8 inches. So, so this is it. And uh, yeah, I will also measure the sleeve. So you will have all information how to make the cardigan. It's a uh, 20, 21 centimeters, 8.2 uh, inches. Uh, perfect. And at the raglan corners line is 22 centimeters, 8.6 uh, inches. So this is the width of the yoke. And uh, yeah, the same width of the sleeve also at the end. So this is it, my crochet friend. Uh, this is the end of my video tutorial. Uh, if you will have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can put the comment right below this video tutorial. Uh, I always do measurement uh, at the end of my video tutorials. So the sleeve measures uh, 67 centimeters, 26 inches, and the length from the seam is uh, 45 centimeters, 17.8 uh, inches. So this is it. Uh, maybe um, it will be useful to measure the V neckline V shape and uh, it is it's seven twenty seven centimeters ten point uh, five inches yeah so this is the beautiful V neckline I, I love it so guys thank you very much for watching if you like this video tutorial, please give me your thumb up and don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Let me remind you that the written pattern is available for free on my blog. And I will be really happy if you will tell me how your cardigan coat turned out. So wish you happy crocheting, take care and bye for now. Bye bye.